The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, University of Illorin Chapter, has described the current administration of President Bola Tinubu as an anti-labor government, considering the way and manner its operation has negatively affected the welfare of the union members. The branch chairman of the union, Dr. Alex Akamu, gave the hint during a press conference protest in Illorin, the Kwara State capital, to draw the attention of Nigerians to the vital demands of the union, that border on non-payment of outstanding earned allowances with health salaries and reconstitution of the governing councils. According to the ASU Chairman University of Illorin Chapter, federal government is yet to pay the outstanding balance of three and a half months of their withheld salaries in spite of being captured in the 2023 budget and government continues to act unconcerned, a move the union calls a slave master attitude of government. A year ago, when the present administration was inaugurated, Hopes were high on timely resolution of our demand and agitation. Given the pseudo democratic roles played by some prominent elements now in government, true to nature, they acted contrary and have been more anti labor in their appropriation. With joint efforts supplying from the understanding that we have a country to rescue, we assure you that we shall overcome. But as soon as they got into power, they displayed in full the anti-labor nature in them. The rest is for us as a nation to read. It is not for us. They are not in our classroom. We are not going to mark. But they are in the public opinion court. It is unfortunate as we speak. Government is here to pay the outstanding balance of three and a half months of our winter salaries. Speaking on the state of the nation, ASU maintained that the current economic crisis in the country is gradually making everyone endangered species as the issue has become hydra-headed while the masses are, are suffocating and can no longer breathe. Chasing power has been reduced and restricted. Masses are suffocating and can no longer breathe. Life has become unbearable for many homes, whereas our leaders are living large on the state resources. Nigerians were castigating us two years ago. We are strike mongers. We are these, we are that. We are not carrying them along. And they were using the means of the press. Today, we are all where we are. Because we do not want to speak up. The truth of the matter is that no employer of labor will want to give the desire of his employee. 